Hi guys, long 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 time no see and I'm really really sorry about that. Today I thought I want to bring myself back into the kind of making video process but in a slower pace. So today I'm going to show you a get ready with me video and as you guys can see my, my face is really really bare. I just cleaned my face and it's toned and cleaned and I'm going to go in the moisturized face because I've kind of been discovering new skincare products for my skin. It's currently autumn here in Sydney and whenever it hits autumn I realize my skin just changes so much. Like literally my skin will be really really tight and dried out during the day and I can literally feel kind of um, uncomfortable on my skin during the day when I walk out. So I've been getting into like new skincare products and I'm going for a more glowy look today. The first thing I'm going to use is the Clarins Double Serum and I've been really really loving this because first of all it just moisturizes the skin like no other. And it gives you like a really nice comfortable feel on the skin without feeling heavy, oily or any of the like unpleasant feeling you get with dewy looks. Um, so I'm going to use this little sample sachet here. I did buy the full pack but I thought I'll use up my samples first. And what's so interesting about this serum is it's called double serum because there's actually two ends to this serum. Like there's this like honey color one and there's this clear watery consistency one and what you're supposed to do is of course you get the product out first this is what it looks like on the hand and then Clarence's philosophy is for every single product they have you have to kind of warm it up and then mix it on your hand here to make it all nice and emollient and spreadable for your face I'm not sure if the camera's um, shaking because my knee is under the cap the table but how you apply this is basically pressing it onto the skin. And the fancy word they use is like a lymphatic drainage system or drainage motion. And you just want to press it onto the skin here. And with any excess on your hand, I find it really nice on the neck area too. And you guys can see instantly there's like a glow to my face already. Feels ultra comfortable. What they say about this double serum is it mimics the natural kind of oil or natural moisture barrier of your skin. Once that's on, I use my trusty sunscreen and I've been using this one forever. It's by Cetaphil SPF 50. I've been having a really dry eye area and recently I've picked this one up. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross um, Furolic and Retinal Triple Correction Serum. So this is like a more kind of um, easy penetrable product for the skin because it's serum. But I find it to be enough for the eye area already just by itself. I don't need to go over with the cream. And it keeps my eye moisturized all day long, which I really, really enjoy. And I've been using it for about a week. It hasn't been irritating the skin around my eyes. And it's I can see like a difference in that there's little fine lines on my eyes. In this one particularly, that it goes vertically down. And those lines, after using this serum, I find they're less visible. So I've been really, really enjoying this eye serum. So that's the base done and as you guys can see the skincare during the day is really really easy and simple for me but I do really love that glowy finish on the skin. And hopping over to the makeup section now, I've been loving this Shiseido foundation, the Triple Solution LX Total Radiance foundation and I have the shade here in 01, very light ivory. And usually with these pot thingies you want to use like a little spatula and what I usually do is before every use. I have a hand sanitizer in front of me and I just put it on a piece of tissue right here and basically run my spatula in there. So that it's always clean when it goes into the jar or foundation. Looks like this. Just taking a bit out with my little scoop onto my hands. 
And after use again, I like to clean off the spatula with the, with the hand sanitizer that's remaining on the tissue. And today we're going to use a very, very new tool to me, and that's a little kind of oval brush for foundation. But this one is quite new on the market, and it's by Shu Uramura, and it's this one. It's the 55 or 5. Five five um, petal brush. It's part of the release with a new petal foundation, but I didn't get that foundation because I thought the brush is really interesting and it's really big surface. Just wiping down the handle right here. So what you do is basically just wipe it on the face because the brush is so big. It's able to give you a really like even and quick application. And that's pretty much the foundation done. As you guys can see with this little brush here, it's definitely really fast. I mean, if there are days that you just don't want to use your hands, you can go for this brush. And I've been using this brush for about four days already. And apparently you don't need to wash this brush so often. Not sure the technology behind that, behind that, but they were saying if you wash it too often, it might damage the brush. That's another thing I have to think about how to wash and try this brush because you guys can see the handle is really odd in that it's designed so it's like it sits on the table without touching the table like the bristles will never touch a table no matter what angle you kind of put it at so yeah have to look into how to wash this thing but use wise is really really convenient going on to concealer I've been really enjoying this one by NARS and everyone's been been raving about it this is their soft matte complete concealer and I have the shade in light to vanilla with this concealer, I find it runs a bit darker compared to their, like their Chubby concealer. I'm just basically going around areas that I need concealing. Like the spots that I picked when I'm naughty. Memory card just said it was full, but I was saying I've tried so many concealers for the under eye area, including this one by By Terry and um, this one by La Mer and it just seems like nothing is moisturizing enough for the under eyes until I found this long Lancome one and it's like cheaper than the other ones that I've mentioned which I'm really really glad and feels like this has a lot more product as well but just squeeze, squeezing a tiny amount on my hand here I mean this concealer doesn't have the fullest coverage but I don't want that for the under eyes because Still want something that's really natural under there. I mean, the older I get, I find the more natural I want my makeup to be. I don't want something that's like, you know, drag makeup or prom makeup for every day. I just want something really light, really presentable. And I'm not sure if you guys know, but I do have an Instagram account that I post frequently on my purchase items. So if you guys want to know any of the recently purchased items I have, or if you want to request kind of like a review video on any of the items, go there and comment there. I just find it to be a bit more easier compared to YouTube here. You, you know, you have to prep up a camera and do haul videos in that Instagram. You just have to take a photo, post it, and then you guys will know about it. The very last cream product on my face is this highlighter. I've been enjoying this so much. This is the It Cosmetics Hello Light Cream. Um, Radiance. The shade is Radiance, but it's a really pretty cream highlighter like this. And I've been just popping it along the tops of my cheekbone here. And a tiny bit on my cupid's bow. I find even if I put like a lip conditioner on during the day, if you put a little bit of highlight on the tops of the cheekbones here, it really kind of emphasizes you, emphasize you have kind of plumper and more pouty lips. Just looks like you put more effort into it. Going into the powder products now to set everything. My setting powder is this one. This is the Clay de Peau. Clay de Peau um, Translucent Loose Powder. Translucent Loose Powder. Comes in a luxurious puff like this but I never use it. I like to go in with a brush. Oh I just tipped it over and look what happened. All that product came to the top. Oh, wow. With these loose powders it's just harder to travel because you can't tip it over. It's quite 
bit to tap off at the excess. Just basically dab it on my face. Because you have such a nice luminous base already, you don't want to ruin it by going in with a heavy powder. I mean, when you're in your teens, you want like that matte, flawless skin, but right now I just want something more natural. Like, you know, it's still my oils coming through, even if not, it's that Clarins Double Serum. For the nose area, I always go with this one. This is the Chanel Vita Lumia Loose Powder Foundation. And I've been using this for a very, very long time. I find I'm on its last legs already, but it's just really good for setting that really oily area on my nose. For the under eyes, of course, the Trusty by Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. And I'm going with a really small brush like this, like a small fluffy brush. And this is by Bob's Beauty name I'm not sure if there's a name but it has rubbed off but this is like one of the favorite brushes from her set that I really really enjoy I think this is from her original brush set as well not sure if she does this brush anymore but it's really good for the under eyes area because the size is perfect and I'm basically just go in and press it press the powder on And again, this is like another great powder for the under eye area because it doesn't dry the area out. And it doesn't oxidize as well. And again, I've tried other powders for the under eyes because I thought it might be the powder that's drying the under eye area out. Under eye area out. And the other powder I used was um, the Shandakai HT Perfecting Face Powder. And seriously, that one is more costs more than the By Terry one and it doesn't work as well in my opinion. So if you have something that works, stick with it. It might be just the cream that you're using, it's not working out. For the brows, I'm going in with my very old Shu Uemura Hard Nine. had this for a very long time but this is one that just works and I'm not a brow genius so I'm just going to fill them in. Coming on to blush, I finally stepped away from my Lancome Cream Blush and I re recently discovered this one by Tom Ford and it's part of their new Summer Soleil collection and this duo is called Paradise Lost and initially when I swatched the blush in stores I thought it was really kind of dramatic because it's like a bright coral shade perfect for like a holiday but on the cheeks when you apply it with a brush it just softens it out and it gives you a really nice kind of natural matte blush which is another thing for blush for me I like matte blushes I do have a chubby cheek so if I go in with anything that has like a sheen or glitter I tend to emphasize that chubbiness on the cheeks and I'm going to apply a highlighter separately anyway, so I don't need that extra shine. Using the little under eye setting brush again, I'm going to use this for the highlighter, which is a really beautiful highlighter in this Tom Ford duo. I've been realizing the popular thing with highlights is they thing like the trend with the formula is gel, like a gel bake base gel base formula it's really pigmented and it feels really kind of it doesn't feel drying when you swatch it that's the difference that you feel when you swatch a gel highlighter kind of really consistent really um, it's hard to explain but you can definitely tell a difference between like a gel formula and a powder powder formula and brands like Dior, Tom Ford, in this instance, have been coming out really well with these gel fake formulas. Using our big fluffy brush again, and I'm going to use Hula Light, which is the new 
kind of contour bronzing shade, bronzing shade that they have and really thankful for this shade because it's perfect for people who have fairer skin. And I did also have, um, I also have collected the so Kevin of Guan sculpting powder in the shade light as well. And these two are very, very similar in color. I would say the Benefit one is a bit more warmer compared to the Kevin Aquan one, but I'm pretty sure you guys know because looking from Kevin Aquan's medium shade, that one is really cool as well. Just going along the cheekbones here, shave it down. Talking about highlighters, I've also collected some beautiful Burberry ones. This is, I'm not sure if they're permanent, I think they are. But just look how gorgeous they are. They are the um, Fresh Glow highlighters and this is in the shade Rose Gold. Seriously, Rose Gold anything, I just can't, can't say no to it. Rose Gold. Once you have Rose Gold in the name, I'm like, yep, into the cart, purchased. Also another one I collected is the pink one because you know I love my light highlighters. Like I was saying before we're going for a very natural radiant makeup for the eyes as always NARS, NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base. Been using this for years it's just the best. But yes, for the eyes, I'm going for something really simple and this is a new product as well. This is by Tom Ford again and it's their cream and powder eye colour in the shade 06 Young and Donis. For me, this is like the most wearable shade or shade jewels they have in the collection. Going with the cream at the bottom. Onto the eye. I the effect of these eyeshadows are really similar, or this shade in particular is really similar to the Burberry eyeshadow in the shade, is it nude? The shade is really similar. Now onto the glitter powder on top. And just pressing it onto the center. I think this glitter powder is just really for, dare I say, just the looks of it because I find there's no difference when I press it onto the center of the lid. I just put it on because it's there. When you swatch it, you can definitely tell there's like glitter. But since the cream base has so much glitter in it already, this top I just find doesn't show that much, but I still enjoy putting it on. It's like when you buy a very expensive product and you just enjoy using it because it gives you that um, luxurious feeling. I love it when expensive products gives you that feeling. It just feels like you've spent, you spent money on something that's worth it. Sometimes you buy expensive products and you just use it and you, you feel it. Eh, you feel like, you know, I can get this effect from the drugstore products. So what's the point really? You really want that feeling. At the end of the day, I find, because I buy so much kind of luxurious makeup right now, this is the one thing I look for. I want to buy something that really gives me that princess, um, lane-like feel. For the eyeliner, I'm using um, Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in the brown shade, so it's called Mad Max Brown. And I hope you guys don't feel like I'm being a snob in that when I say I invest in high-end makeup, it's because I'm nearly in my 30s and I'm earning my own money and I just feel that I want to spend money on something that I really want to kind of use. I don't want to buy kind of drugstore makeup and you know when I get at home it just doesn't work.
and I think it's one of the things I got off James as well he's like he's a guy who really looks into quality of things not necessarily the price but the quality and really when you when you use these products and they give you that good feeling why not because to me putting on makeup is not a job it's not a chore it's not something it's essential but it's really like a luxurious feeling it's really something that I put time on each day for myself so really all the products that I use during that time I want it to be I want it to feel good can't talk and do eyeliner at the same time I'm not sure why but I have this in both the brown and the black and with the brown one I find it always tend to have build up on the end of the brush tip and I always have to go in with my fingers and basically pinch that build up out and it doesn't happen with the black one that's the weirdest thing because you expect them to have the same formula the same like materials they use on the eyeliner but maybe something's different curling the eyes and I've been using this one for years as well this is the Koji Kirby eyelash curler I've purchased multiples of this as well it's just the only one that works for individuals who have rounder eyes and if you want to curl your lashes with your eyes fully opened I know today's product is mostly really really high-end and I told you guys the reason why but seriously mascara it's always this one I've tried all other mascaras and this one is the only one that works yep Maybelline Lash Sensational in this little lilac tube to open up the eyes more I forgot one thing and that is this little liner by so this one that has the same lid where is it? This liner by Marc Jacobs and it's their um, highliner gel eye crayon in the shade the lightest one in the buff. So it's like a champagne shade. Just a liner on the inner corners here to give it a highlight. And lastly, to finish everything off, going with a lip conditioner because my lips look quite nude at the moment. And for lip conditioner, I've been loving. Whoa! Sorry. I've been loving this um, Lip Medics by Blistech, little blue tube the perfect lip conditioner I mean if they have this in a twist up tube I'll just love it more because putting my fingers in here every time I mean every time I just can't especially in public I can't use this in public it just like grosses me out but at home with clean hands I hope that's still okay and yes this is my kind of everyday look to run errands for work to look presentable really easy really quick i hope you guys enjoy it and i hope you guys found somewhat helpful and if you guys have any question on any of the products that i've used or mentioned today please comment them down below and until next time i love you guys so 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 much i hope you're having a fantastic day and bye